So, hi, hello and welcome again. Uh, Micro Punter here. This here is a, a slide where I mounted some sand on it using some nail polish. Now, I got that idea from one of my viewers who recommended uh, that I try this um, and he told me that he's got several of these slides at home and some of the slides are already 100 years old or even older. So I said that's actually quite a good idea uh, to try mounting sand because some time ago I already made a video and on mounting sand, uh, but I used so-called concave slides. Now these are slides with an indentation. The slides are a little bit thicker, but they have a, an indentation. So I, I basically put the sand into this indentation and a cover glass on top. Um, the only problem with that is, is that actually there are several problems. Um, the problem number one is that th those slides are a little bit expensive. Um, <laughs> that's uh, the least problem. But the other problem is, is that sometimes the indentation is not uh, deep enough and uh, so larger sand grains um, cannot be placed uh, on the slide because then the cover glass won't fit because even though there is an indentation the sand grains are too big right um, so this method here actually is very promising and I tried it out and I'm very happy with that so what I want to do now is I simply want to share with you um, yeah the story of how I actually experimented with that um, I'm not claiming that this is the best best way that I'm uh, doing here right now uh, but if you have any suggestions uh, on how to improve this uh, or if you have any additional recommendations please do leave your comments uh, uh, below so now let's get started with that yeah so uh, this is sandpaper and uh, one of the two slides that i'm testing i'm going to scratch the surface with the sandpaper to make sure that the nail polish sticks better um, it's actually only a test to see uh, if it's actually worth uh, uh, scratching, scratching the surface. Unfortunately, this slide broke. This does not matter. Um, and here, this is how the scratches, uh, how the surface of the slide looks like under the microscope. Um, so I'm quite sure that the nail polish will stick uh, quite well. Um, I've used uh, first some alcohol to uh, remove any grease and fat from uh, the surface of the slide. Um, and I hope that this way the nail polish is going to stick better. Um, I'm using black nail polish simply so that I can see it better. That, that's uh, now the slide uh, where, that I treated with the sandpaper and the top slide is completely smooth. And after a short drying time, I tried to remove both um, of them and uh, I wanted to figure out uh, which one is now stronger. So that's uh, the slide that I treated with sandpaper and uh, I now tried to scratch it with my fingernail and I was able to remove uh, the nail polish a little bit but generally it stuck quite well now on the completely smooth slide it was much easier to remove uh, the nail polish but I would say that for all practical purposes it doesn't really matter a lot honestly I think uh, uh, treating it with uh, sandpaper is not necessary uh, but I mean, it does give it a little bit of an improvement yeah here this is now the, how it looks like under the microscope again and you can see that there are some nail polish residue left over on the slide. This actually means that the nail polish actually sticks uh, quite well in the rough surface of the uh, slide that I treated with uh, the sandpaper. So why would you actually do that? Well, uh, of course, there are people who like to collect sand. Uh, that's one thing. But I think uh, another reason is uh, why this can be useful is uh, because the sand is very flat uh, on, on top of the slide um, and spread apart. Uh, this allows me to see the individual sand grains better. And uh, this way you can, I guess, uh, also use this method to determine any pollution, like microplastic pollution or things like that. Um, yeah, because it makes it very easy to observe because the sand is very regular and flat on the slide. Okay, now I'm going to actually try to prepare the slide uh, with the sand. Uh, so I'm using, of course, clear nail polish right now. I'm applying something on one side and I'm using a second slide to evenly distribute the nail polish. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory, really, um, to have a nice even film uh, of nail polish on the slide. And uh, then I simply uh, put uh, some sand um, over it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, then I had to wait uh, some time until a nail polish is dried, maybe about half an hour or so. Yeah, but that it actually worked quite well. Um, the uh, sand uh, was really, uh, yeah, connected quite well to the slide, I have to admit. Uh, actually, to, to my surprise, I did not expect this to work that well. Yeah, um, I first of all, uh, I... Uh, tapped the slide a little bit uh, then also to make sure that the sand uh, is really evenly distributed uh, but I did not apply any pressure on the sand I mean this might also be a possibility but I found out that this works actually fine enough and after, after um, 
I turned the slide around I had to wait a little bit and later on I still was able to remove some of the loose sand uh, that was still on top of it like I'm doing right now so this is now after the drying time um, I was able to remove some of the sand yeah and it worked quite well so I can imagine quite well that uh, this is able to last for a very very long time so uh, I first uh, of course put it under the stereo microscope and uh, let's have a little test and let's look at the sand and this is how it looks like very nice and evenly distributed and also the nail polish is not visible of course not visible it's uh, beneath the sand grains um, and even there where the nail polish is visible it really does not disturb at all and I think this is a very good method to actually prepare uh, sand slides so now this is the place where there's the nail polish uh, and you can see that you can almost not see the nail polish at all so I think uh, that's uh, enough for today. If you have any uh, suggestions on how to improve the method or any other ideas, please do leave your comments. Um, otherwise, I want to wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. Please consider subscribing <laughs> and see you around next time. Bye bye.